Oh, Otani, as we are as we are filming this, is pitching, by the way, for the for the Angels in Fenway, the land that Babe Ruth started. Kind of a poetic little thing there. Shohei's first ever start at Fenway Park is happening today as we're recording this live. And it could not be. It couldn't be going any better. The Angels are up 2-0 right now. Shohei has pitched six innings, no runs. He's looked fantastic. Look, one, this was tough to do a live show while my best friend Shohei was on the mound. But it's ended up being awesome because he's doing really well. He also, early in the game, had a single. But get this. It was a 400-foot single. Out there in that Bermuda Triangle area of Fenway Park, ball bounces off the top of the wall. The runner on first obviously couldn't get a great read on it because it looked like it was going to get caught. But then the sun gets in the outfielder's eyes, and he drops it. It ends up being a 400-foot single. It could have been a homer. It would have been a homer in 11 parks. It could have been an out, but the sun was protecting Shohei Otani. The sun said, not today, Red Sox. It is Shohei's time. He ends up getting a hit. Almost a home run. A 400-foot single is something you never hear from Shohei Otani and something you would never expect because he's also one of the fastest humans on the planet. So Angels, as we speak, are up 2 nothing over the Red Sox right now. Top of the seventh, one out. Angels are hitting. What a, what a start this has been for Shohei. I mean, look at Shohei's numbers today already. Six innings pitched, five hits, 10K, and then through seven innings, he was also the only hit for the Angels. Jared Walsh literally just hit a two-run home run, so now Otani can get the win today, which is that much better. It's fun. It's funny you say that. You say live update. I go to look down on my computer, and the home run was literally happening as I looked down, but I didn't know if it was a replay or anything. Shohei, by the way, I was watching this game up until we went live, punched out three guys in the first inning. Three strikeouts in the first inning. Ten strikeouts on the day. No earned runs. Are you kidding me? Shohei Otani is an absolute freak. Ten strikeouts, zero earned runs in Fenway Park, and a 400-foot hit earlier in the day. I just, I, I can't wrap my mind sometimes around how good, how impressive he is. And he's doing it all in the home of where Babe Ruth's career started. Pretty cool. Pretty special. You want to talk about passing the torch. That's been a a big thing lately. Passing the torch, and it's taken 100 years to do it. But we're there. He's doing it in the stadium that Babe Ruth started. This is this is incredible stuff that we are seeing. We see it night in and night out. And now Shohei's doing it again in Fenway Park. I just I can't believe this. It's incredible. Yeah, you know what? It's it's kind of unfortunate how it's going to have to unfold. But I think for the entire kind of the baseball world to get all aboard the Otani train, it, the, he's going to have to do this in the postseason. And I think they're on the right track right now with the roster they have assembled, Mike Trout being back. I, I just cannot wait to see what Otani would be like in October. I can already see it now. 40 degrees, Otani on the mound while hitting. And the whole entire world is going to be watching. They're going to be like, how have I not been watching this guy the last two years? I, I want so badly for this Angels team to get in the playoffs. Yes, for Shohei Otani and also for Mike Trout. The world needs the Angels in the playoffs. This week, I had the Angels in my power rankings for the first time. They jumped all the way up to number five in the power rankings. This team is real. They are really good. As the projections state, they have over a 60% chance right now of making the playoffs. It, projections are projections, and I... I but I'm hopeful that we can see them in the playoffs. Look at this tweet from MLB Stats. Shohei Otani, who's batting third, is the first starting pitcher to bat in the top four spots in a game at Fenway Park since Babe Ruth on September 20th, 1919. That's 103 years. We've been making the comparison, and I say we, I mean me. I was writing articles last year comparing Shohei Otani to Babe Ruth. And now he's doing something at Fenway Park that hasn't been done in 103 years since, you guessed it, Babe Ruth in 1919. 
Are you kidding me? The fact that everybody isn't talking about Shohei as much as I do and as passionate as I do is mind-blowing. We all should be. This is incredible what we are seeing, and there is a good chance we never, ever see it again. So appreciate it while it's happening. I mean, we're talking, this tweet is comparing, it's Shohei Otani and Babe Ruth, 103 years separated. Are you kidding me? This is wild. This is madness. That's why we have our own segment on here this week in Shohei Otani News. This isn't even that segment. I had to talk about a midweek, which I'm having to do. We might have to have two this week in Shohei Otani News. News is. I don't know. There's just so much happening. This is incredible. It is incredible. I think I might have told you the story of, like, I don't think I've ever had a more heartbroken moment in baseball when it comes to, like, free agency and stuff like that. The year that Otani was coming over to Major League Baseball, I thought for sure. I grew up a huge Ichiro fan. I was like, Otani, Seattle, yes. This is going to bring us back. We've made all these trades. We got all this cash considerations, and I'm like, oh, today's the day. He's signing, baby. We're going to have Otani. Angels got him. And I was heartbroken, and it was so funny because I was actually downstairs, and people were looking at me like, why are you upset? Like, you don't even know if this guy is going to be good. I'm like, have you not seen what this guy is doing in Japan? Like, he is a unicorn, and we had a chance. My franchise had a chance to get him. So looking three, four years later, it still breaks my heart. I'm so happy to see him doing so well, but man. What could have been? One thing we know here is that producer Conrad will always find a way to bring it back to those Seattle Mariners. What could have been, sure, but it didn't work out. It didn't happen. It certainly, it, you know, it was a possibility, but I, I had ended up hearing that Shohei chose not Seattle because that's Ichiro's land. That's his territory. That's his legacy. He wanted to create his own legacy, and he's doing a pretty good job and I'm going to talk about it all the time. Have no fear. I will do it all the time here. Thanks for watching. If you love flipping bats, swinging 3-0, or just talking ball, join us. Call us at 213-537-9339 with your questions. We have a weekly guest, and we have a lot of fun, so hit that subscribe button.